Hi everyone, so this is the click air conditioner we've put into the van to replace the bigger one we took out. So it's still the same brand, Click, it's from Bunnings, um, but it's only a 7,000 BTU instead of the one we had in, which was 10,000. Um, fits straight back in, nice and easy. Obviously, you know, the tables and that foam, it's not normally there, so disregard that. <laughs> but there's plenty of circulation around the air conditioner and the vent goes out the driver's window when we use it but yeah so um, like I said in the other video we used our, our portable one from home that we had in our bedroom because we couldn't get a smaller one at the time and Bunnings finally had the smaller ones in stock which is all we need because it's only a van we don't need anything too powerful in here and we can use this if we're in caravan parks or showgrounds or wherever there might be power plus we can use this off-grid uh, of course, we've got a pretty big battery system here. We can use this off-grid for quite a few hours. Um, and we're about to use these, this one even longer now because it's um, not as powerful, which is good. So it's only a, it's a proper portable air conditioner, which uh, be just like the last one we pulled out, which was very cold once it was running. It's also got a dehumidifier in it, but it doesn't have heating, so it's just a cooling one. We do have a separate heater we use. But yeah, so put that in yesterday, very simple. Um, strapped it down and we'll definitely be using that once it warms up and we're off grid or on a powered site. But that's it guys, um, it's all set to go. It does say when you first run it for the first time to run it on fan for a little while. So probably when we do our next trip, I'll probably just um, run it on fan just for a little while. Um, you generally don't need to drain these uh, if you're in a high humidity area it does get a bit more water inside and you can just um, undo the plug at the back and drain it or you can put it just kind of a little tube that you can put on but with our last one even when we had it in our bedroom we we really had to drain it because the water just evaporates but yeah if we're up in um, the top of Queensland or where humidity is really bad you get a bit more water in them and you may have to drain it but we haven't had to really drain them at all and we just clean the filters at the back occasionally yeah so i just thought i'd share that with you so this was from bunnings um 280 dollars so they've they've gone up in price like everything else um but we found last summer the last few summers with the other one we've got we've had for quite a few years and using our master bedroom which works out perfect but they as soon as they get them in at Bunnings, they don't seem to last long in store. They seem to go very quick. They are very popular. Um, and we've never had a problem with our one we've had. So if you are looking at these portable air conditioners and your store, your Bunnings has got them, I probably wouldn't leave it too long. But once summer hits, they seem to be sold out all the time. That's in our experience anyway, in our stores. So hopefully that helps you guys. It comes with remote control, which we've got up near the bed. Um... And will definitely be a help. Bye.